A Northwest Fresno family is grieving their loved one whose life was cut tragically short just days before his 27th birthday. Patrick Gossett was a football coach at Tenaya Middle School. Tonight he's being remembered by his family both on and off the field. Action News reporter Nick Garcia joins us live in studio with how Gossett made an impact on the community. Nick. Right, and Patrick Gossett, Coach P as he was known, was walking home on May 3rd when he was hit by a train near Fig Garden Loop Park on May 3rd. He was always smiling. I think every photo, he is probably smiling in the photo. Um, he was extremely intelligent. Christina Torres clutches her sister's hand for support as she describes life without her son, Patrick Gossett. He's remembered as being full of life, something you can see in this video his family shared with us. We made history, baby. We made history, baby, and we won it. Recently, a candlelight vigil was held at Fig Garden Loop Park, which is just across the street from where his life tragically ended. That vigil brought much needed light to the family. That support and that love for my son, it just, oh, I, I love my son to death and to see so many people loving him like mm -hmm. that, just, uh, that's my son. One of Gossett's greatest passions, football. He loved coaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't have kids, so these kids. Were his kids. Were his kids. Yeah. His Sierra, his baby sister, yeah. was more like his daughter. He played football at both Tanaya Middle and Bullard High Schools. As an adult, he returned to Tanaya as a coach. For what Coach P brought to the program, brought to the community, brought to these kids, I mean, it's, it's priceless. The coaches he worked with shared special memories with his family, bringing just a bit of comfort to them during this difficult time. I, I hope Coach P's wherever he's at, looks, knowing that he made an impact on these kids, man. Gossett's mom says between the community's support and her faith, she's been able to go on without her son. Holding up due to the power of prayer. And the family has created a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expensive expenses. That funeral is this Wednesday. You can find more information about both on our website. Live in studio tonight, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News.